Welcome everyone. Let's take a look at some cool JS animation libraries. Because everyone loves animations, whether you're creating a logo, animated logo, animated vector image, some component on your website. Everyone loves to look at animations and we're going to take a look at several cool animation libraries and one SVG2 which I think you might be interested in. So let's go ahead and start. The first library we're going to take a look at is a library called Anime. Anime is a lightweight JavaScript animation library with a simple yet powerful API Works with CSS properties, SVG, DOM attributes, and JavaScript objects. As you can see on their demonstration, there are some awesome things that they're doing with animation. Here's layered CSS transforms, controls and callbacks. And basically, you can animate anything. Well, that's neat. It has, you can download the library, or you can connect to a CDN on the live site. It has full documentation. Let's take a look. As you can see, it has everything that if you have any questions you can look at as far as documentation let's go back uh, let's take a look at examples that they give here's in code pen let's take a look at this one here and as you can see in the JavaScript file there they connected to the library via a CDN go back out let's take a look at this one here another example IBM think and a lot more you can take a look if you have on your own time and that's it enemy JavaScript library. The second animation tool we're going to take a look is a library called GreenSock. It's very popular. It has actually you can do the same thing like anime. You can just about animate anything. It's fast performance is compatible with almost anything also known as GSAP so let's take a look here it's a Swiss knife JavaScript animation at least that's what they call it Okay, let's go back up. Let's take a look at documentation. And here's documentation of the latest version, GSAP 3, and what it features it now has. Additional features added to G GSAP 3. Okay. There's a CDN where you can connect. You can install via NPM on your computer. There's a zip file. In fact, you saw it immediately downloaded a zip file for installation. So you can see there's a possibility of doing many neat animations. Let's take a look at their showcase. Here's one example. 
of a project that used green sock. Oh, isn't that cool? Wow. Lot more to look at when you have time. And here's some demos. Let's take a look at this demo on Code Pen, low poly experiment. Well, this is neat. And JavaScript file. They're connected to. Let's take a look at the. Here we go. Green sock. Library. This is the basic GS GSAP 3.0.2. They're also connected to the Custom Ease plugin. Green sock Custom Ease plugin. And the third plugin is the Custom Wiggle Green Sock plugin. Here in Code Pen. Yes, another neat tool that you might be interested in learning how to use. Let's take a look at 3.js animation library. It starts off, the website just starts up with all these examples that uses 3.js. Cool. Documentation. Another site that has great dom actually is a manual, as you can see online manual where you can learn more about 3.js and its features Let's take a look at the editor it has its own editor I was playing around with as you can see Kind of fool around with it, change the background. Change, I uh, had a box, delete that. Let's add a, what was that, tube? As you can see, you can rotate it, you can do many things with it. And it's uh, the editor that comes on the website you can scale it neat let's take a look at some examples here animation cloth how realistic this looks here's animation morph camera Decals. Geometrics. Cool stuff here. A lot more. How about taking a look at a live website using 3.js? That's a cool looking portfolio platform. And here's a site that looks like a game. Okay. You can find their code in GitHub. The library. 3.js. Now if you take a look at the on the left column there's a highlighted area those are resources to for tutorials of how to use 3.js let's take a look at another library called pop motion it has many 
platforms um, we're going to look at the peer pop motion peer which is advanced functional animation library for any javascript environment here Yes, so you some basic animations, tween, spring, keyframes, using keyframes. You can scroll down and see there are different examples here. Tap. Okay, DK. Timeline. Pointer. Yes, so many examples you can take a look at. Let's go back to the top. Look at their API. All the documentation for each use usage here or feature that they offer installation via npm also on your computer that was pop motion here's another javascript library called Coot dot js i think that's how i pronounce it or is it kute kut it has many many features as you can see oh, let's take a look at the uh, features overall its performance is fast browser full browser compatibility And gives you an example on the header here. Let's look at their doc API documentation. Commands and then your CDN where you can connect your website to their library and gives you all the links that you would require. Here's a little performance test that is available. Cool. Translate. X. Repeat. Okay, I'm first time I'm looking at this, so I'm not familiar with what I'm looking at. I must admit. Let's take a look at the examples. A native JavaScript without libraries like jQuery. So it's not using jQuery. at all his rotate example skew skewing example there's a lot of examples here I can scroll down and scroll down another rotating example yes so you can spend a lot of time on the site seeing what the capabilities of coot.js is 
So give it a try. You may prefer to use this library over the others. There's a neat website called Gear Generator where you can design rotating gears and you can download it in several formats. Freeze, start, stop. You can clear all the gears, add a gear, whatever you want to create. As far as you know, using gears, you can download it as a CAD vector image. SVG download You can spend a lot of time here You can change the look that's a light look Well, it's really bright dark look Yes gear generator something you might be interested in there are many more options available to you. The tools we reviewed in this video are just my personal suggestions to help you get started. All the links are listed in the description below. And just select a library and spend time learning it and you will be rewarded richly. Thank you for watching.